Amazing audience, we are live with Michelle Gourmet. Hey everyone. What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, trying to stay cool in Houston. It's, it's a challenge. <laughs> it's a challenge, I'm telling you, like we, wow, it's hot here. Early. The entire West Coast was hot. It's been hot, like, I mean, Las Vegas, hot. Arizona, oh. And it's all different types of heat. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a fine tasting for heat, <laughs> fine feeling for heat. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had um I had a friend from DC come down last month, and he was like, you know, what should I do? I was like, drink water, <laughs> <laughs> pack light, drink water. That, that's my advice if you're coming. Yeah, to I need to get some water. <laughs> so you guys say water in Trinidad, we say water. You know, well, you water. know, Americans don't enunciate. Yeah. <laughs> And then I'm in the south too. Yeah, it's like it's like so Amanda, right? What's your wife's name? Amanda. Amanda. Yeah, yeah. Amanda. Yeah. Um, Amanda. Yeah. Yeah, it's just amazing. So do tell us, Michelle. Like you've been doing a ton of things. There's the podcast. Yes. There's the speaking. Uh, what's up? Please give us an update, please. Yeah, so I've been very blessed. Um, currently, I started a new job two weeks ago. I'm marketing manager at Sullivan Stout, a law firm. So just learning the ropes. And it's interesting because it's taking my marketing entrepreneur mindset into the workplace. Mm. And I'm fortunate that it's still a small business, you know, a small law firm. So I feel like I'm getting the best of both worlds right now. Um, but I'm still managing my clients. I'm still speaking. Uh, still podcasting, yeah. still developing my personal brand, and I'm ger just very blessed to find balance with all of it. Yeah, it's so, like a rocket taking off, isn't it? <laughs> Who, developing your personal brand. I think, I think on the outside looking in, you know, because people are like, Michelle, you're everywhere, and I'm like, yeah. okay, you know, these are videos and interviews I've done two, three, four months ago that are just now coming out. Yeah. And it, it, it looks great because it shows momentum. Um, so even when I'm watching SVU marathons <laughs> on my sofa, <laughs> the content is still rolling. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I've seen that too. It just takes a bit longer. Yeah. A bit, 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 bit longer than you think, doesn't yeah. it? It does. It does. When I left corporate in 2013, I was like, four years? I'm going to blow up. If I can graduate in four years, I should blow up. <laughs> Look. Yeah. <laughs> it does take some time. Yeah, I think people sell lies in yeah. terms of uh, how quickly these things can be achieved. Yeah. Uh, but definitely relationships. Relationships like yeah. these are what create momentum. Absolutely. Absolutely. Tell me your own unique real shoes. The segment of shoes you've worn between the ages starting okay. with 1 to 12. Shoes. So... My parents are from West Africa, Cameroon, immigrants. Right. Right. So growing up, it was kind of hard because of the culture difference. And uh, so Payless, my, my mom's like, a shoe's a shoe. And yeah. I'm like, no, I need some Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> I need some Nikes. And then I think it was sixth grade. She finally gave in and probably got me like the cheapest pair of Nikes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I was happy and they lasted. And I think... I, I don't want to say name brand every since. It's funny how that cycle goes, right? Yeah. As a child, you want name brand, and as an adult, it's like, ah, do I, do, I, <laughs> do I want to pay that extra <laughs> for that? Yeah. You know, but um, that and just, I've been, I think even with the name brand, just being simple, yeah. always been simple. What about 12 to 24? What were you wearing then? Probably everything. K-Swiss, Adidas, Nikes, Reeboks. Yeah. Now, I'm an old lady. I wear Crocs. <laughs> I wear Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> and my best friend's like, Michelle. I was like, I'm comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Crocs guy. I'm the Crocs guy. Come on, you, you should wear something fancy. Yeah, but it's comfortable. <laughs> like, we're just going to the grocery store. Yeah, I'm but the Crocs guy. Yeah, Crocs is amazing. <laughs> the first time I encountered Crocs, right? So, we went to Sawgrass Mall. Uh-huh. And I'm with my mother and Amanda, right? And they're, they're energized, yeah. right? I'm like, ah, oh, my feet, you need a Crocs. Yeah, yeah. And they get me a Crocs. Yeah. And that was it. That was, that was look, it. It only takes one pair. <laughs> <laughs> it only takes one pair. You should see me Paul walking through the mall. <laughs> 
like, this is good. <laughs> yeah, those this are the good. best. Do you have any regrets when you look back from, mm. from then to now? For what's then? What's then to now? Then is like that time, you know, even back from the time A of childhood? wearing the Nikes to, to now, um, to Crux time. Regrets? I don't know about regrets, but I think I'm definitely more understanding. Even though I don't have any children, like, money is valuable, right? So I can only imagine when my mom, single parent of two, yeah. trying to make the money stretch. And I'm putting this pressure on her because I feel like I'm getting pressure, you know, from peers. Yeah. Where are they now? Yeah. But, <laughs> but you know, I, I think... Hmm. Um, I, it could be a minor regret, but definitely more understanding and yeah. empathetic to my mom and just the value of money as a whole to anybody. Hmm. So, yeah. What are you most excited about right now? Meeting you oh, that's and fun. your wife. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think um, this is inspiring, right? Just having a mission. I think it's a tangible mission that everyone can see. Um, I think that's a great thing. Um, overall, uh, this new job, right? Um, it's just interesting how things kind of come about and just all as always trying to show and prove and move yeah. forward yeah. it's fascinating to me peer pressure so things like <laughs> i just i just like thinking I, i'm driving coming here yeah. and i'm attempting to get value for mm. gas yeah mm. so i'm looking at the meter with the miles per gallon and if i do 59 miles per hour you know it's like it's doing like 25 yeah. miles per gallon yeah. right but here comes the truck yeah. behind me and it feels as though they're yeah. angry right and here comes the car and i was just thinking about how real peer pressure mm. is for us even as adults uh to be something to 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 accomplish something go for it and now it's tough i think I think that sometimes that's the downside of social media mm. because when you do look around and then with social media providing the global scale, it's kind of like I'm not doing enough. Yeah. And I get like that sometimes, you know, I start reading bios of people or organizations I want to be a part of or maybe I want to submit my name for something and it's like these other women, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, am I qualified? So, um... It's, it's a balance. It's, it's it can a be tough balance, sometimes. You know? And yesterday yeah. we covered that. Like one lady we interviewed, uh, Deborah, and she was talking about that the importance of balance. Mm. You know, it's one thing to see this, but if you're attempting to go on this side all the time, then mm. you become unbalanced and then it creates problems. And yeah. I've seen that, you know. So I'm there and I'm just saying it just to add that it's uncomfortable sometimes to go at your pace, but understanding your pace, it's necessary. And so that's and that's the balance too, right? It's like remaining comfortable with who you are, but then still stepping outside of your comfort zone yeah. so you can grow, yeah. right? And what's going to challenge you? That way you can continue to evolve as a person and hopefully inspire others along yeah. their journeys. Yeah. So go yeah. at your pace. You know, it's it's why I posted that thing that said, um, you know, um, it said like uh, your finish line is going to be different mm -hmm. or unique to every yeah. other person so yeah. get started look i said um one thing i always say is like you cannot become better unless you start mm. right because so many of us we wait for perfection or we wait until we have all of the equipment yeah. and then something's always going to come up and you're going to reallocate your funds and i'm like just start just start, start with what you yeah. have and you'll improve, but you have to start. You have to start. So I heard that. I hope that comes through very clear. When you heard that this guy from the Caribbean was coming to meet you face to face, where you are, what did you think? Sign, sign me up. <laughs> I love tag, it. Tag me. Tag myself. Love it. Love it. You know, I was talking to one guy, uh, Gailan, and I was uh, expressing to Gailan. He was. Uh, everyone begins to start interviewing me now, right? We've mm. reached to the point mm -hmm. where individuals like want to know more. And I was telling him, you know, the thing that mind boggle that is mind boggling to me is you guys have roads. Mm. Like, why aren't you doing more? Like, you guys have roads. Like, there was a time there were not roads. 
Yeah, like I should get on the road. Well, I'm not saying I'm not saying you should <laughs> have two must too, but it's just the connection is there. I'm not gonna drive more than three hours. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which is cool. <laughs> like, I can barely get to San Antonio, Austin. <laughs> I'm like, Dallas? Ah. Yeah. No, I think, and I think the vision, right? Everyone has a different vision. And that's why I have to commend you because obviously there's some financial backing to this. Sure. But when I started podcasting in 2014, 2015, and um, I was in different Facebook groups, people were more concerned about getting ads sponsorship dollars hmm. right and i think lots of times our vision or people they don't allow their vision to go past the financial gain yeah, yeah. right which traps us in yeah that's yeah. good you Love know that. and i think one thing for me that I, my network like i have a, a talk that i deliver called creating a network through podcasting because the people I've had access to, like, hey, can you come on my show and can I jump on your show, has been beyond my wildest dreams. And, like, that in itself is priceless. Yeah, true wealth. Yeah. I love it. Well, Michelle, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, though, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? I'm just grateful to be here. And please connect with me online, michellegourmet.com, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Well, gourmet. Well, you could put the link in there, <laughs> right? So someone can just click yeah. in it in the comments. I'm yeah? going to like it. I'm going to comment. Yeah, It'll put catch it in me. the comments. <laughs> love it. Michelle Gourmet, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Did you have fun? I did. Always. <laughs> Love it.